tell you, recently, one of our producers, Alison here, uh, came across a new trend that many of us have never heard of. The underground world of female masking. Anyone heard of that? No. no. Right. Well, it's a community comprised of mostly heterosexual men who, with the help of a mask and a silicone sex suit, strive to transform themselves into real-life sex dolls. Now, this, <laughs> now, this is a man who goes by the name of T-Virus, and he's here today to divulge the secrets of this hidden lifestyle. Now, we're going to meet T-Virus in a moment, but first, take a peek into T-Virus's world of female masking. Step into the hidden world of the living dolls, a secret community of men who, with the help of female masks and silicone sex suits, transform themselves into the fantasy doll of their dreams. My name is Rob, and uh, I go by T-Virus. I express myself as a living doll. T-Virus invited us into his home in Nashville, Tennessee to reveal what's behind the mask of this very secret underworld. I'm 55 years old. I was married for 20 years. I'm not married any longer. In my private life, uh, I'm a living doll. It's clearly not real and it's not intended to be real. The mannequin-like, uh, emotionless expression. If you're wondering how does somebody get into this, T-Virus says he's been masking since he was a little boy. Born with a cleft palate, he constantly looked for ways to mask his face. From an early age being teased by other children, it caused me to try and figure out ways to do something else with, with what I had to work with. I would take T-shirts and then I could tie it around my head and then from that, I would draw a normal face on it. From the crude t-shirt masks he made as a child, T-Virus spent most of his life on a quest to feel beautiful. When he discovered masking, he says he felt reborn. I point to May 27th, 2006 as my date of birth as far as becoming a doll. The mask that I bought um, was very thin and it fit very tight. I didn't want to take it off. It was pretty erotic. If you're thinking any old mask will do, think again. T-Virus walked us through the elaborate and personal process of picking a mask. Well, you're looking for eyes that line up, how well it fits your, your own face. Once you do have it on, uh, you do sweat a little bit. That in and of itself creates a kind of suction. But yeah, this is the I like her a lot. And she's got that little bit of a glitter to the uh, eyeshadow. Taylor is, is just incredible. You cannot look at that and not see a little bit of a diva. While T-Virus says the mask is the most important part, being a doll also entails wearing an elaborate silicone sex suit. It goes from your ankles all the way up to your neck and your armpits. It's almost like putting on a pair of socks. There are some options that you can get with the suit. Uh, they will uh, provide a catheter to you. It's something that extends down uh, through the uh, vagina so that you can actually urinate, you know, as maybe a woman might. As far as number two, forget about it but just as a mask and a sex suit does not make it the doll once you're in it's important to make the doll your own all of the characters come from the kind of woman you'd like to meet i want to be kind of petite and pretty and in looking at myself you know once i've created the uh, the illusion you do feel a sense that you've created something beautiful once he goes through the process of getting all dressed up, how do people react to seeing a living, breathing doll in public? Quite often, you know, if I'm out on the street, it does get a lot of stares. In a way, you're like a fly on the wall. A lot of times, I would just stand there perfectly still, like a mannequin would, you know, and, and you're eavesdropping the whole time. You're not trying to scare anyone. For most people, it's right out of Silence of the Lambs. On any other day, he'd be out there skinning people in the basement. And regretfully, that's a part of it, and I wish it wasn't. But T-Virus wants everyone to know he's not a creepy axe murderer. He's just trying to fit in. It's a little bit painful sometimes to feel as though you were born in the wrong set to the wrong body. You don't have to spend 30000 to have your boobs in life. It's a way for you to experience that, for you to know what that's like, and it's not permanent. In the end, T-Virus says it's all about being happy. 
Sincerely, when I look in the mirror and I just look at my life in general, I'm pretty proud of who I've become and where I'm at. Even the most beautiful people in the world, they all feel pain and they all feel something about themselves that they'd like to change. And this is the way to do that. Well, as you just witnessed, there is a lot that goes into being a living doll. So, are you all ready to meet this living doll in the flesh? Yeah. Okay. Please welcome T-Virus. Wow. How does it feel coming out here? I know it's hard for you to talk through the nerve-wracking. <laughs> Frightening. Okay. So I'll just give you some time to settle down. Okay, so we saw some of the process of, of getting into the costume. How long does it take you to do that? Uh, maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes? So you can do it in 15 minutes, mm. the, from the whole thing? Mm. Now, are people shocked when they see you? Sometimes shock, sometimes um, startled. Now, as you can hear, it is very difficult for T-Virus to communicate when he's wearing the mask. So, uh, or I should say, when she's wearing the mask. So, uh, we'll talk to her a little while later on when uh, he reveals a man behind the doll. Do I refer to you as he or she? Uh, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever I want, T-Virus. Okay. When we come back, find out what happened when T-Virus took some staff members out on the town in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't go away. Today, uh, we're exploring the hidden world of female masking, an underground community of men who, behind closed doors, strive to look like female sex dolls. Now, we've been exploring that world with living doll T-Virus here, who was kind enough to invite us into his home in Nashville, Tennessee. As you can imagine, a lot goes into transforming from a 55-year-old man into a hot, young, female sex doll, including a special skin suit and a custom-designed mask. Take a look at how T-Virus makes his transformation. The transformation from man to doll is by no means a simple task. The very act of getting into the doll suit is a long and difficult process. First, Rob must cover his entire body with baby powder just to get the suit on. Then the suit is painstakingly unrolled directly onto his skin. The fun skin itself uh, is kind of a one size that's most. For myself, if I know I'm going to be wearing the suit for any length of time, then I will generally fast a little bit. You know, the night before and the day before, I just stop, you know, eating a lot. The next step, choosing an outfit, begins well before a stitch of clothing is even worn. When I transform, generally I have an idea to begin with. Um, I've either done some research or I've seen a character in a movie or uh, maybe I've found a piece of clothing uh, somewhere and that will be enough to serve as a trigger for me. When it actually comes time to get ready, all of the pieces have come together, uh, the costume has come together, the mask has come together. Dressing with the fun skin, it's a little unique in that you're trying to hide some of the seams and the neck. Um, so always when you're looking for clothing and articles that you're going to use, you're very mindful of how you're going to disguise those parts of the, uh, the ultimate creation. The thumb skin to me is like creating the palette. Um, that gives you the, the mannequin body that's smooth from head to toe. Um, but then from that, you have to build the rest. And a big part of that, and a very personal part for all of the dolls and the female maskers, is clearly the face. Um, they don't like to do something a little unique. They don't want to do the same thing that everyone else has done. On the other hand, there's only so many masks that are made. The suit itself acts like an extremely tight winter coat. It gets extremely hot inside. 